Hi everyone, Andy Davis here again from Master of Voice, a channel with reactions to performers from across the world. In this episode, I am so excited to feature George Michael, one of my favorites, and this is the song One More Try at a concert back in 1993. Let's jump right in. Love the piano intro here. Gosh, you guys, this is one of my favorite songs by him. I must confess that as a, a preteen in the 80s, uh, moving into my teen years, that I learned a lot of my singing by singing along with George Michael and so many other great singers of that era. And One More Try was one of my favorites to uh, sing along with him and develop my voice, strengthen my voice. This is such a beautiful song to do that. I do enjoy, though, that uh, from the beginning here, he's already changing it up, the melody, uh, if you will, just to give this audience something different to the, the huge hit they knew so well back then. I love it when an artist does that. It just makes each performance unique to that group in that setting. And I love that we have videos now so many years later to continue to celebrate these unique performances by these star artists. I think it's time Gosh, he's got great backup singers with him in this performance. I feel a gospel vibe here, and I am loving it. Of course, George Michael was a great singer. You know, I first come to know him from a lot of upbeat pop hits, but then when he would put out these ballads back then, I was just drawn in. I wanted to sing like him during these ballads. His voice has such a crispness to it. So well focused, a little bright, but not to the front of his face too much. The vowel is very nicely placed, but still has a bright crispness around the resonant quality that comes out of him. And of course, just look at him, so handsome and such a natural on the stage. He really was the total package for a male star back in the 80s and 90s, and he just embodied that vibe so well. And of course, became a superstar. Now, you know, a legend that we all remember and appreciate for such great talent and great songs. Oh, the last one I hear. Yeah. 
That is a very difficult section of this song, just knowing that when I was trying to learn and sing with him, it starts down in the lower part of the phrase, it sends up with some quicker notes, but then you have to open up into a chest voice sound, but then flip it up into a falsetto or head voice quality. And he did that so nicely, which just shows the star quality control he had over his voice via great breath support and management. Those things all have to work together to make a phrase like that happen. And he just gave us a masterclass on that. So well done. But I loved also that it wasn't the exact way that it was done on the hit recording that we all knew. I love that. Because there ain't no joy, no joy. for an up-down boy to teach your head to I'm also enjoying, not only is he changing this up melodically, he's also changing up the phrasing just a bit, putting spaces in between notes that he didn't do on the original, tying notes to different parts of other phrases just to really give this such a unique performance feel here. And I am loving these backup singers with him and the uh, piano as well. This is just a wonderful collaboration of great performers and musicians. I didn't feel the danger. Now I feel the heat. Leaning into that note a bit dynamically. That look in your eyes. Telling me no. So you think that you need me. He is also such a great performer, really pouring out passion into this, giving us some emotion, putting his entire body here into the performance, and I appreciate that. I also enjoy at some of the ends of these longer belting notes here that he lets some vibrato creep in there just to free it up just a bit. So well done vocally, you all. I continue to be such a huge fan of George Michael. gosh you guys i love this performance you know i'm just sitting here thinking i know that this is in the middle of a set of about five or six songs that he did i believe this is at a benefit concert back in 1993 and even though he was used to doing full concerts it's sometimes hard to change gears from your pop songs your upbeat pop songs to then do a big belting ballad like this but it is just so well controlled and just proves his star talent. So incredible. I'm just not willing to try. Just one more try. I said maybe just one more try. Is it gonna be there? Just one more try I'm so cold inside But maybe 
Oh, thank you very much. Oh my goodness, you guys. Even on the longer held note there at the end, he started it off with a softer volume and then built into the big held final note there. So well done this entire performance. His use of dynamics throughout the entire song was impressive. And that is really important when you're singing a song like this. It's sometimes tempting to just want to belt it all out. But those differences in volume are what really truly makes it an incredible performance versus just an excellent performance. And that was the legendary star voice that George Michael had. He was just a true professional and I enjoyed him so much and loved seeing this today. It brought back so many memories of so many of his hits that I loved. I can't wait to feature several of those on the channel in the future. And I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please click like and hit subscribe. Click the bell so you know when I'm releasing new content. And I've also left links to my social media down below as well and to my Ko-fi page. If you're able to contribute there, I would truly appreciate it. Otherwise, thank you so much for the continued support and have a great day.